Jennifer, please welcome Terry Hudson. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. I just want to say that I am very grateful for my success. I'm very grateful that I was able to overcome fear. And I'm even more grateful for failure because it led me to both of those accomplishments. Mr. Toastmaster, fellow Toastmasters, honored guests, failure can be your friend if you know how to cope with it. So tonight what I'm going to do is I'm going to outline a three-point plan on how you can cope with failure and how you can use it to get what you want. Number one, you have to face it. Now, last week I talked about going, uh, I talked about having anxiety. And how I overcame anxiety was not by avoiding it. That's how I wanted to overcome it. So I did everything that I could so that I didn't have to deal with it. And I saw that I was working a lot harder to avoid it than I was to actually just dealing with it. So I faced it, I stood up to it, and that's when great things happen. In the same way, you cannot avoid failure. You can't even avoid the fear of failure. Because if you do, you can't get anything you want. You can't reach your goal, you can't reach your calling, you can't reach your dream trying to avoid it. You, you have to adopt the attitude of, I can't wait to fail. Because if I fail, then I'm progressing. If I fail, then I'm gonna grow. It's not gonna kill me, just like anxiety. It felt like at first it was gonna kill me, but it didn't. It just made me stronger by stepping into it. And so you have to step into it and you have to face it. Brings us to number two. You have to embrace it. You have to say, fear. Bring it on in, baby. You have to hug it. You have to say, we got to start working together. We got things we can do. We got things that we can accomplish. Uh, we were talking about wrestling. I was talking about wrestling here with Matthew and, and Dan a little bit earlier. And there was a WWE superstar you might have heard of named John Cena. And I watched an interview where John Cena, they were talking about his first match and or his first section of matches. And he went to Triple H who's this legendary wrestler, he's also the son-in-law of, son of the WWE or World Wrestling Entertainment owner, um, Vince McMahon, and he says, well, I just want to know, what do you think of my match? And he said, well, you suck. <laughs> you know, I know I suck, but I, I'm not always going to suck. You know, what, what did you like, and what could I have done right, and you know, what did I do wrong? He, he knew he sucked, but he was embracing that, and he knew that that failure was the finger pointing him to a success. And so, you know, there are a lot of great things that come about as failures. I did a study one time, and I found out about all these things that failed. Like, for instance, bubble wrap. You've heard of that? That was supposed to be an insulation for houses, and it completely failed. But all of us use it, right? In fact, all of us play with it. Pop, pop, it's showtime. We all play with it. <laughs> WD-40. The reason it's named WD-40 is because there were 39 failed attempts to make it work. So the 40th attempt is where it actually works. So 39 failures, and it got its name WD-40. Oh, uh, Viagra. <laughs> <laughs> Viagra was originally intended to be a treatment for a heart condition called angina. Well, it turns out it wasn't really a good treatment for a heart condition, and it didn't treat anybody's heart. It didn't, well, it didn't uh, uh, cure anybody's heart. But it had an interesting side effect, and that side effect, it uh, solved a dysfunctional issue, and it made a whole lot of people happy. So, out of failure, Again, there came a great success. So out of our failures will come success. That The failures are what actually lead us to the success. Again, if we face it, if we embrace it, and realize that it's our friend pointing the way of where we need to go, and sometimes we're too stubborn, if, if we didn't fail, we wouldn't get there. Third, learn from it. 
no matter how frustrated you are when you fail, because when you fail, you're ashamed and you're frustrated, but no matter how much, you still have to look at, why did I fail? You have to say, was it everything that I did? Or what was, the, what was wrong in the equation? Was it one or two items? Could I have done something different? And sometimes, with people that I've talked to, they still can't figure it out. And it's okay if you can't figure it out to ask somebody. Even though you're ashamed, you got to get over that. You've faced it, you've embraced it, ask somebody. Don't be a know-it-all. You know, the world was never, ever changed by know-it-alls. But there's a lot of them out there. I, I was at the park recently, and I saw this dad trying to teach his daughter uh, how to fly a paper airplane. This came to my mind today. I'm not picking on this little girl because this, this little girl is cute as she could be. But her dad was trying, he made a paper airplane, a lot like this one. And he said, I want to show you how to fly this. She grabbed it and said, I already know how. I know. I know how to do it. And he said, no, no, no. That's not going to work. Let me show you how to do it. She said, I already know. Give it to me. I already know how to do it. Once again, he tried to say, let me show you. Once again, she said, I know. And she still couldn't fly the plane. She was throwing it at the ground. Finally, when she grasped onto it, she was able to fly the plane. That's what you have to do. You have to listen. You have to learn. You have to, you have to test also. I tell people that I'm, I'm, the, I'm a velociraptor from Jurassic Park. I test and I look for holes in the fence. And if this one didn't work, then I go to the next one. So what you do is, if you fail, you learn from it, you try something new if you can figure out what's in the equation or somebody's told you, and then if that fails, try something else. If that fails, try something else. At least it's progress, and if you do that, I can promise you one thing, and I know this for sure, you won't go backwards. You'll only go forwards. You will absolutely, without a shadow of a doubt, as I said last week, everybody in this room, everybody on my email list, everybody that I know on social media, everybody that I go to church with, everybody in my family will fail. But let each failure bring you closer to your dream. Face it, embrace it, and learn from it. Thank you very much.